As we begin to write code for our microcontroller, we want to follow the principle of modularity. That is, we want to use readable and reusable code. We'll write functions specific to the microcontroller that do certain actions that we'll probably need in every single different um, project and homework assignment. We don't want to copy and paste our code from one homework assignment to another. We want to put our code in different files so that we can reuse them without having to edit them. Once those pieces of code are tested, we'll be able to use it without having to worry about their interactions with other pieces of code. We'll want to document them so that when we come back to them after a few weeks, we'll remember exactly what they do. Now, how do we use modular code? We're going to put the functions into helper functions, helper files, .c and h files, and then include them in our main. So every piece of, um, every project that we make is going to have a main.c. And um, the key is that inside of that is int main, which is the function where our program begins and the compiler when it goes through is looking specifically for this one function. That's the only requirement that we have in all of our code is that we have to have an int main somewhere and we can only have one of them. Now if we have functions that we want to share in other projects and we don't want to copy and paste every time, we'll make some kind of helper.c fi uh, file. And this is literally where the functions will go. So let's say we write a function that takes the average of something. Uh, we call it int av, and it might take a you know a int stars and put an array of integers. The actual code for taking that average will appear in helper.c, and that's a function that we'll want to call from main.c. So how does main.c know that that function exists? We'll have a list of all of the functions available in helper.h. So helper.h contains the function prototypes essentially the declarations of the functions that exist in helper.c. So what happens when we try to compile this project that contains main.c, helper.c, and helper.h? Every function that exists in main.c, the compiler is going to try to put in memory somewhere. So main.c gets turned into main.o, and it tries to uh, allocate uh, space for all the functions that are there. Same thing that happens to helper.c turns into helper.l. So if we have a function here and here, they might try to exist in the same piece, uh, or them that if we call average here and we have average here, we might have two spots in memory that try to contain this average function. How do we get around that is we pound include uh, helper.h in each of them, specifically saying um, when we compile this main.o, uh, we will reserve a spot in memory for those functions um, that is the same piece of memory. We don't know where it is yet, but we're essentially going to have a pointer to these functions. So helper.h comes in and says, uh, I am declaring a spot for my functions. Uh, that spot gets reserved in main.o and helper.o, and the linking step of the uh, compilation process is going to assign the final uh, location and grab the content from helper.c. So the compilation process is specifically set up so that we can use modular code by keeping our functions in the .c file, the prototypes in the h, and main just has to say, I'm going to include the functions from helper.h. Later, I'll be able to go and grab the content from the c file.